um, in today's video I'm just going to show you a few things that I'm doing to my cars because I can't really make a, a standalone video on them I'm just making sort of little snippets to show you that what I am doing in between videos and stuff like that yeah anyway right now I'm in my Honda Stream this is my Honda Stream there's a knocking sound coming from this corner here so I have removed all of my interior there is there and um, I've taken this part off here because the knocking is coming from that corner so I'm going to show you now what it is sorry about the sound there's people building here this is my upper suspension mount and if you look at it you will see all that white stuff that my kids spilt for a start and then all of this black rubber that's a telltale sign that that's a telltale sign that my suspension is broken well the, the mount is broken so when I bounce the car you can see it moving around there I'll probably try to insert a clip here of driving with this out um, I might give my wife just to hold the camera or something I'll have to order it and I won't be able to do it in this video so um, you'll probably see that in a future video I'll probably I don't, I don't know probably just do the whole thing in one video I'm not sure yet but yeah, that's why I'm just doing these short little um, snippets here, just to show you that I am doing stuff in the background. I just can't really make a video out of it. It's not that easy to make a video out of this. Obviously, I had to take all of the interior out just to find out where the noise was coming from. I found it. Now I can order that part and put the interior back in so my kids can sit down. Because um, I couldn't leave it like this. They'd just put their hands in there while the car was driving or something and they'd have no fingers then. This is Ireland, so I'll have to wait for that part to come in. It could take a few days to a few weeks because there's a Japanese car and this is Ireland and we have no um, parts on shelves in this country. We just order them in from different countries all the time and you have to wait for them to come. So yeah, it's very hard to get stuff in this country. Um, you can't just walk into a motor factory and say, I need whatever, and they have it there. That's not the way it works here. Um, on to the next thing. Hello, so I'm back in my Honda CRV here and I haven't touched this car since the the incident where they stole my catalytic converter. So um, I'm going to replace the exhaust here now um, and I'm just going to show you a clip of what it sounds like before and what it sounds like after. Um, just for fun really, it's not, obviously it's broken, you know, there's no cat so it doesn't sound great but it kind of still sounds great. So I'm just gonna do a little drive by here or sound start up, whatever, and you'll hear what it sounds like and yeah, and then I'll change it. Hmm. Like this. Look, one is on. Nah, I can't get around there. Look, it's moved. It has moved. This is why I don't like this. There's where it was, there's where it moved to. Or there's where it was, and there's where it moved to because it went backwards. But I don't know. This is why I don't like this. I had to put it in the grass because it kept sliding um, on the concrete. So I had to put them in the grass and then I had to get my wife to stand there and make sure I was on them straight. And this one, every time I drove up onto it, it slides back or it slides sideways or something. But I'm up now, so that means I can get under and do my exhaust. But I swear, this is the only car that I would use these on because the clearance from the ground is high. So if it slips, if it slipped, um, it wouldn't be too bad because it would probably still clear on both sides. Where if I was to use it on the prelude or if I was to use it on the stream, the um, the clearance wouldn't, it would just destroy the underneath of the car if I slipped it. Because you've seen what the last one was like, it was completely hanging off the side. Um, this is why I don't like this. So I've had arguments with people, not arguments, but 
some people in the comments were saying that um, these are great if you use them properly but I don't think they are at all like they have to be bolted to the ground and you have to have somebody spotting you to make sure that you're on them right there's no other way or else put them in the grass like this where they won't slide but it's just not um they're just not good don't buy these seriously right I'm gonna have to try to do it here instead because I need to get under this side to get the whole exhaust in there that side but let's see what happens right I had to put it up on the side here and um, because I couldn't get the whole exhaust from there all the way back so I had to put it on the side but just even putting it onto the side is just awkward like that doesn't even look right kind of just look at this one side is sort of sitting up in the air it doesn't look right yeah. anyway now I'm underneath the car and as you can see I'm, I'm actually upside down if you look so um, this I have to take off these bolts which I have already I've already put um, some WD-40 onto these to sort of unseize them. So I'm have been trying to get these two nuts off here and I can't get them off. This is where the, the this is the header, the downpipe, and I just cannot get these two off. That's actually bending if you look at it. It's not even straight anymore, it's bending. There's, it's just basically seized with heat. I just cannot get them off at all. I might have to cut these ones off. I don't know what to do yet. I have new ones of these anyway. And I have the new cat and then it will connect to the the center pipe here but then if you even look here um, I have the plug off that end so I might just wear straight to that but this is the O2 sensor that goes into the exhaust now I'll have to just cut these wires and wire my one straight onto this I think I want to keep my my original back box because I didn't buy a new one I might change this um, in the future sometime I don't know yet, but anyway, these 10 mil bolts, you can see that they're all rusted up and they're really on there. Now I did use a lot of WD-40 trying to get them off. I couldn't get them off. So what I might have to do is just cut the pipe right here and then take the exhaust out that way and then just remove these when I'm outside because it's very difficult to do under here as well. It's not easy to, to, to do it all from under here. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove that part. Uh, I'm just gonna cut that part off of the exhaust so I can remove the whole center section. And then I can just um, take the back box out that way. So that, it, and then I can just take those nuts off the back box while I have it out, it's just easier. Okay, so I managed to get the exhaust off. I just cut it here and I just removed the back over the axle rather than trying to separate that. I couldn't separate this under there. So I'm just gonna try and separate these outside. Um, this part was already cut obviously because the cat goes there. But then the the last bit there, the last bit, the downpipe onto the cat, I cannot separate that either. I'm gonna have to try and probably cut that out as well. I'll figure it out anyway. But now I can try to remove these bolts because I don't have a new back box. And there we go, there's my new cat. There's my center section. And then I will just replace this uh, back box with this part here. So all I need to do is just swap over all the rubbers, rubbers here. And then um, I'm not gonna put this together yet, obviously, because I don't have the downpipe cut off yet. Um, so when I get that all sorted, then I'll put them all together underneath the car, it'll be easier. Um, so you can hang, I can hang this piece and then I can put that on separately and join it up there. And the same with that. I'll wait till this is in before I put this together. Also, I got Bosal exhaust, um, center back, uh, center um, section and cat. And the reason I got Bosal, the reason I got Bosal was because um, they fit better than most of the other cheaper ones. And um, some of the other cheap ones you might have to bend here. You'd have to heat it up and bend it just so it would match up with this. So oh, that's why I got the Bosal one because it's the, it is a little bit more expensive, but it's a better exhaust in the end. Now, there's the exhaust out anyway. And these are the nuts that I'm going to try to remove um, while the exhaust is out. It'll be just a little bit easier to remove if the exhaust is out. So hopefully I can get this done and then get the downpipe um, off as well so then I can start fitting the exhaust but 2003 when it's 2021 it's nearly what 17 18 years old or something this car now this is um 
this is hard because with heat this all expands and it doesn't want to come off so I'm gonna have to really use more heat to try and remove these nuts and um, the best I can anyway I'll do what I can with it Okay, so I'm warm, I'm sweaty, I'm in pain with these stupid kidney stones again and um, I tried to get this off with some heat. I will probably have to just cut it off. I, I'll figure out something anyway tomorrow. I just give up now. Um, just Everything's just been sort of messy and trying to find parts and trying to get parts and then trying to take things off and then trying to find me tools. I couldn't find either of these as well. I also have an adapter for a half inch to a three eighths inch and I can't even find that. I don't know where it is. I'm, I'm all over the place. So that's the end of this video. See you for the next one, I suppose. And um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye bye. This could be the last time that we see each other, but I wanted you to know that this ain't over. If you fall, I pick you up. Never too much. Carry these memories till we're.